So let's say we want three fingers here and maybe the thumb over here. So let's do, let's do the thumb. So I'm just building out in circles. But just be aware that eventually the material will break. But that's okay because we'll remesh this again. Like if I was to remesh it again at 180, it will solidify that a little bit more. So the three fingers would be here. I'm just trying to bring these straight out. And if I want them to be a little bit longer, it's okay like that they're kind of, they look kind of crazy. When you smooth them, they're going to go back in a little bit. So that's why I'm sort of bringing them out so much. This one, I kind of want this finger to kind of curve a little bit more. So as you see, I'm sort of bringing it out over the uh, palm. If you want to add little details like the little roundness of the of the palm you can do that too I'll smooth that out a little bit and you can do a little crease action just give his thumb a little a little roundness okay so now what we want to do is remesh this so i'm going to remesh it at 200 and then i'm just going to smooth and these actually look pretty good and if these weren't really shaping up or looking smooth, I would just remesh again, maybe a little lower, and then I would, I would smooth again. A little extra on the thumb. You could add a little extra and then kind of smooth it. And you can also take a drag, the drag tool, you can sort of shape it as well. So the only other thing that I might do with these fingers is flatten the bottom parts. So yeah, I might flatten out the bottom parts and just make the surface area of the fingers a little more flat. And then of course, I would just smooth everything again. And just keep everything nice and smooth. Just add a mirror, and now we have it at both sides. Looking good. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video.